What's up, everyone? Good evening. Welcome to tonight's dev blog. Um, it's going to be another semi short one, but I have a couple of things to show you. So, first and foremost, talk about my new Patreon updates. If you subscribe to any tier that's $20 or above, you will get an extra Steam code for Into the Flames every month that you're subscribed. So, all this goes to supporting the game and buying assets for the game, like building these wonderful airport maps. Um, so check it out. Even if you don't want to do the $20, feel free to stop by and just see what the other tiers have to offer. Um, second off, this map was revealed today on the Northern Alex's YouTube channel. Link will be in the description um, with my Patreon, too. Um, but anyway, his YouTube channel will be in the description. Feel free to check out and show you some cool gameplay with much more to come. Um, so on this dev blog, we're just doing a quick walk around. This is the new truck that debuted on his channel. Has full interior, working mirrors, lights, er, headlights, brake lights, turn signals, all the good stuff. Um, I'll let him debut the phone tomorrow on it. So, but it is ready to go. Um, you're probably wondering what these two guys are doing. We'll get to him last. Um, these are my prototype victims. Um, victims that have three states. The first state's um, awake and alert, like this. Um, I'm going to give them, once again, personalities like I talked about in the traffic as well. Um, some of them may happen to have a fire extinguisher and attempt to put out the fire others may try to run and get out of the residence um, if they do make it out and they're outside they could tell you that there's someone still inside so um you'll be able to lead them out and stuff so if you press e on them he'll change colors they're following you around you'll be able to stop them as well stop following you um you bring them to the truck victim rescued uh, we'll talk about this guy in a minute, because um, this is going to cause my character to get locked into an animation for testing purposes. So, you're probably wondering what the tiller's doing out here. I want to show you that I have made it so one player is able to use both the front and the back at the same time. Um, it's pretty smooth how it works, so the left mouse button causes to go left. And right mouse button obviously goes right. So I like this because it you don't have to take your hands off the keyboard at all, like from your where your hands are normally placed by driving. Um, it feels really natural. Um, and I know this was a feature request from a couple of people, so hopefully it makes you guys happy. But I also made it so. It has a better turning radius too now. Um, I'm gonna update the collision on it so you can practically make an L. Um, but just to kind of demonstrate this again. Go down here. I guess that was kind of a bad example, but. But it's nice. Um, high speeds, I updated the steering too on it. Um, high speeds kind of limit your wheel rotation. Because if not, if you did a 90 degree angle in real life, you'd probably roll the trailer. But um, as you sl as you slow down, as you slow down, um, it'll be able to turn better. All right. So. The last thing I want to show you guys, uh, second last thing, we'll briefly go over the map. I don't want to show any areas he hasn't shown off yet. Um, but so let's say you found a victim like this. Um, you'll be able to carry him to safety, but you'll also be able to perform CPR on him. So it's not fully set up yet, obviously. Um, but let me position the character. He'll auto position when it's ready. But the chest actually goes down. Character moves as he's doing compressions. Um, this is totally optional. If you guys don't want to do this, um, you can just bring them back to the truck. There'll be more reason to do this 
in the future, which I, there's stuff I just don't want to talk about yet. It's not set in stone, but, um, but this is just a good optional side task right now to do to him. So we'll briefly look over the map. This is the firehouse. This map is a tiny bit different from what Alex showed off. Um, I've been updating it. Um, I'm going to add more emergencies as well. By the time this releases on Monday, there should be around 15, 20 emergencies on this map. There'll be new emergencies on Canton County. And there'll be new dynamic elements to the fires as well. Um, which I'll talk about that further into the weekend. I work all weekend at my normal job. But um, I'll try to fit time in to kind of update people. So... You kind of got your terminal, your main hub. I'm not going to go in there yet. I'll let Alex do that. Um, a construction site with a trailer. Um, hangers. If you are open, more be open as time goes on. Um, I'll probably give this building interiors as well. The planes have full interiors. You'll be able to go inside, full interior on it. I'll let him debut that gameplay as well. Um, the warehouses that he did show off. Um, you'll be able to, you're able to break these skylights as demonstrated in his video. Um, someone commented on his video about fans affecting the fire. And while the smoke won't re be removed, it really did nothing to the fire. It used to. But now if you put a fan in place before the fire's out, anywhere in the building, you'll cause that room to flash. Possibly flash other rooms. So, make sure your fire's out before you ventilate. Um... Be some smaller fires in these tiny little storage areas. Um, I'll be adding new hazmat incidents too. Um, Northern Alex came up with a few scenarios as well. What well, a new scenario idea that I'll be implementing that I thought was pretty cool. So we'll talk about that when the time comes. Um, but there'll be more hazmat stuff coming. Um, I got big plans to expand pretty much all the systems. So um, Enterable. You'll probably see this in the video tomorrow that he does. And then I'll let him show off the interiors of the other hangar. But it's a pretty decent map. Um, decent size. And like I said, I'll fit 15 to 20 emergencies on it and add the dynamic elements that the other emergencies already have, plus new ones. So lots of stuff coming. Um, once this update's done, the forestry update will be released next. Um, actually, I think I lied. I think I'm doing an update to Canton County, but either way, within the next two weeks, Forestry will be out as well. Two to three weeks. So, lots of new mechanics with them. I completely redid the whole system, and it has a lot of changes. Um, including, uh, which I'll give you guys right now, um, choppable trees, but they're, like, dynamically choppable. So, uh, fire lines and other stuff that people requested. Um, smoke columns are back, which I'll show you guys too. We're gonna have to restart. Uh, actually, should be able to spawn them in. Yep, there we go. So you have headers and stuff on fires. Again. Um, I took them out before, I forget why, but I just never got around to re-implementing them, so. Not all fires uh, have headers. Um, the bigger rooms will have the headers. And then if you just have, like, room and content, you could still pull up to nothing. And still have a good fire. Even, like, a basement fire, you could pull up and have just the whole house smoked up. Which, that's another thing that I added recently. Um, that any fire can cause the entire house to smoke up. Um... Eventually, soonish, I'll be adding chances for like electrical fires and stuff that you have to locate, which cause the house to smoke up and investigate um, pot on stove and stuff. So, anyway, stay tuned. Make sure to join the Discord. Check out Alex's channel. Subscribe, like his videos, comment, um, and check out the Patreon. Um, sales have been pretty good for the game. Um, I'm happy with them so far, and I appreciate all the support. I love the game it's been getting, so thank you guys. Have a good night.